welcome to Vlogmas Christmas Eve, day 24. We've been through a lot, like so many days. If you've joined me the whole time, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you've seen the ups and downs, the good, the bad, you've seen it all. And your kindness has not gone unnoticed. Thank you. I am so happy. It's the most magical day. Christmas Eve. So let's get our advance open and then make a tea. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and please know you're not alone. David's Tea, 24 Days of Matcha. Day 24. If I had to guess, I'd probably say like candy cane. <laughs> candy cane matcha. Bird and blend day 24. No surprise. A puppy dog. Bucks Fizz. <laughs> Zesty Bucks Fizz bubbles with gold sparkles too. Oh my gosh. AC Birch. So beautiful. Ooh. Day 24. Look at how giant it is. This is what I see. This is so magical. Oh, it's not hinged. The rest of them are hinged. This is the most adorable tin. Look at all that tea. Oh, that smells wonderful. First flush. Darjeeling. Amazing. Let's see what they say though. This has been such a beautiful calendar. All right. It says it's a black tea from India. This Darjeeling first flush has a nice nutty taste with a lovely hint of nutmeg. Darjeeling is located in the eastern part of India at the foot of the Himalayas. In this area, some of the finest teas in the world are grown. Every garden manages to excite us every year with the lovely, spicy flavors. This year's pick is no exception. So wonderful. Kusmi tea. This has been so much fun. Day 24. Last one. It's a canister. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. You guys, it's the outside of the box. Do you see that? It's so pretty. I don't even know what it is. A flavored blend of black tea, orange, and spices. That is so gorgeous and such like a wonderful way to remember this tea advent. That's brilliant. I love it. Let's go find the others. This has been so special as it was a gift from my friend Danny and I finally sorted it out <laughs> how to make it red. <laughs> and this is a 25 day. We'll see about tomorrow. But for today, it's Christmas Eve, day 24. Gingerbread treat. Black tea with cinnamon, ginger, apple, and cardamom. 
I can't believe it. I messed up recording. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, gracious. This was likely going to happen at one point or another. It's just funny that it waited until day 24. <laughs> um, we unboxed together day 24 of Tea and Me blog. And I don't know what happened, but it didn't get recorded. It's the Coalition Tea. And this tea is elephant friendly. And it's certified elephant friendly black tea, organic cinnamon, organic cardamom, and organic ginger. And it's blended in Oregon and it helps veterans. So nice. And Tea and Me blog is a 25 day countdown. So then we went and opened up the Tea Thoughts final day, the 12th day. And it was so magical. <laughs> and I failed to record, but we got two white balls. And these are from 2017. And of course, because I have two, I'm going to share one with the giveaway box. The one is going into the box. These are so cute. So sorry about that. So I spent some time cleaning up, feels so much better now. Um, yeah, things were just getting a little bit out of hand there. So, oh, happens to the best of us, right? So finally going to make myself a cup of tea. And um, then I just realized that like, it's Christmas Eve and things are closing early and I still have a couple things to do. <laughs> Gracious. Uh. So I am going to have this tea, man oh man it's so adorable, and this is the first flush Darjeeling, let's get this steeping, then I gotta get ready, get dressed, get going, yes I'm so excited, and I'm taking all of the sticker orders to the post office to get them shipped out today, so so excited. Thank you everybody for your orders. I really appreciate it. If you are interested in the stickers down below and the hollow, hollow, holographic um, teapot ones that I sketched from my Manning and Bowman. Oh my gosh, let me show you. I'm sure if you've been around for a bit, you've seen this teapot, but this is the teapot that the holographic um, sticker is after. So I love this teapot. It is glorious. I did a video on it, um, but it is patented from January 24th, 1899, and it's Manning Bowman and Company. And I just, I love it. It still has the old cloth filter in it. And I do go over in the video about the reason for the patent and stuff, because I love patents. And yes, I have used this, just not with the cloth filter. So that is that one. And so I guess what I was trying to tell you, <laughs> I'm so rambly this morning, I'm so sorry, um, is that those have been reordered. They uh, quickly went out of stock and um, yeah, so they've been reordered. They have actually been shipped to me, so they should be here soon. And they are, let me, let me show you. Okay, <laughs> so Jeanette snagged one for her thermos and you can see there, it's so pretty, holographic. If I, if I may say so myself, I am very happy with how it turned out. So that is this one, <laughs> so fun. And they are vinyl stickers. So here's the other one. That's the stocked teacups. And we have them on our, we've had them for a bit. And I just wanted to make sure that they kind of like were okay to put on something and to wash it and stuff. And they are, we're very happy with them. So yeah, 
That's the stacked one. This is what she chose to put on. <laughs> All right, making my tea, gonna go get ready and then go to the post office. All steeped up. The smell is just, oh my gosh. It's like lightly sweet. It smells like the best spring day that I could ever imagine. Just reminds me of dreams, like the best dreams. Hmm. Like if you were just out outside laying in the grass and the breeze was blowing by and you're just like watching the clouds and that's, yeah. Mm. That's all. Okay. Now I'm gonna go get ready and get to the post office. Back from the post office. Got things all situated. Kinda. <laughs> um, very excited that the first batch went out so thank you very much for the orders i so so appreciate it like incredible thank you guys i'm going to have the white tea ball now i'm in the sunroom and i thought it would be a nice uh day to do that have a relaxing moment and i have my pal phoebe hi phoebs what you doing baby yeah. Aww. If you're new, Phoebe is one of our two kitties. And Phoebe only has uh, three legs. And she has, she has a fair amount of health issues, but she's happy and she's brilliant. We just love her so much. Mm. Okay. So this here is a Shu Mei ball, and uh, Nazanin had said, another white tea ball to try with a harvest date of 2017, brew this Gung Fu or Grandpa style. Shu Mei is known for having a stronger flavor. You might enjoy this on a chilly day. So it is kind of chilly, but it's like really nice looking out. So yeah, so I'm going to enjoy that and um, mm. And of course, one of these balls is in the giveaway box because I got two in my, my box, so I'm sharing. And this is the pomegranate um, pottery that Nazanin made. So pretty and very fitting for this. All right, see you in a bit. What are we doing, Jeanette? I am going to have sushi. Sushi for lunch. Yum. And I'm finishing some of the white tea ball. Okay, so we went and visited with my family. So that was very nice. Dropped off gifts and stuff. Did all the Christmassy stuff. Good old times. <laughs> <laughs> and I took with me uh, the candy cane David's Tea Iced Matcha, and I made it into an iced matcha latte. 
It was really delightful. I was unsure if I was going to like it. I could totally see that being lovely hot as well. I, I could have made it as a hot latte. So yeah, that would have been a hot day. <laughs> So now that we're home, Jeanette is going to make pizza, and since I love her pizza so much, I thought we could, um, yeah, watch her make it, because it's always, it's always fun to watch people cook. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do that. Um, okay, so here, this is Jeanette. <laughs> She's going to make pizza. Jeanette, do you have anything to say before we start, like, diving in and really watching what you're doing. No judging. Okay. Because I'm going to measure liquids with a dry measure and I don't care. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get in there. Yeah. So I've put uh, a tablespoon of sugar, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and two cups of flour in this bowl. And now I need to put in some lukewarm water into this bowl so that we can dissolve the yeast. So I'm just gonna hold this. And this recipe calls for um, two thirds of a cup plus two tablespoons of water, which seems very specific. And half the time when I do this, it's either too much or not enough. So anyway. Uh, packet of yeast. We could not find this during the, the major lockdown. Um, it, was all, it was next to impossible to find yeast. So when the grocery stores finally started getting it again, I bought a few large jars of it. <laughs> all right, so we'll just let that sit for a bit. I'm just mixing up the, uh, the dry ingredients now. All right, I'm just gonna take my rings off before I mix the dough because that gets pretty gross. So we'll put the flour and stuff in here a little bit at a time. A little more than should. Anyway, just making it for Jan and I, so it's, it doesn't need to be super precise. It just has to taste good, right? Right. So, <laughs> Swedish chef style, except I'm not gonna throw anything when I'm done. I say that. Okay, this is this is where you have to use your hands. I have to use my hands. Whoop! Jan's gonna have to edit that out. Okay. Except the dough. Like I said, sometimes this works well, and sometimes it's just like I use the exact same amount of flour every time. Maybe I don't let it sit long enough. The yeast, I don't know. It turns out tasty most times anyway. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. Just to get some of the, the flour that's at the bottom of the bowl. incorporated a little bit more. So. And now it feels like I've used too much water. So when I measure out flour, I always put a little bit extra in the cup, hands, and just Rework the dough a bit. Yep. 
put it into a ball. Like that sound effect. And then just leave it in a bowl and we get a clean cloth, tea towel or whatnot. And I use, let's just use a Christmas one because that's fun. And sit it somewhere warm for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we will be back to make the pizza. Grease the pan. Where I put the dough on it. And a lot of people use uh, cooking spray or oil or something, but I always use butter. around the sides too so the, the edges are brown. Okay. We've got a few minutes left on the dough rising and then we'll be back to uh, put the pizza together. Okay, our dough has rested. Got it here. So Flour the hands and the dough. And then sort of start making it into a rectangular is ish shape before putting it down on the on the pan. Sometimes it's a pain to stretch it all out so it fits the edges. So here we go. Phoebe heard some some dishes clanging around so she thought it was supper time and then when she realized it was just dough she she hopped on back outside. Not outside, she doesn't go outside. She hopped back out to the living room. Uh, see we've got a dough bubble there. Alright, you guys don't need to see all this. I'll be back when it's when it's all done. Okay, I'm ready to put on the toppings. Oh, I opened it, yay. Now, when I was a kid, we made homemade pizza. We made the Kraft Pizza Mix, which came with a can of sauce, um, a little packet of herbs and spices, it's like oregano and stuff and a little packet of uh, Parmesan cheese. And we'd put like uh, Brothers Pepperoni on it, which is a local company that makes pepperoni, and cut up hot dogs and, and like canned mushrooms. And it was like, and everybody did that. That's just how pizza was done. So, but we're not doing that today. That's some pizza sauce. I'd actually ordered something else from the PC Express pickup and they didn't have it. So they substituted um, this stuff, the, the black label sauce. And it was really good. So we just kept getting it. Um, and then in the sauce. That's classy. Not pizza delight pepperoni. Just one Wipe this off. Pizza delight is a pizza chain in the Maritimes. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Um. Anyway, I think it's been around since the since the sixties or so. They. Uh, I have the usual pizza offerings, um, but they have other things like lasagna and uh, pasta. Most people go for the pizza. And they come, if you order, or they used to, I've gotten it in a while, um, an octagonal cardboard box. So I don't know if they still do that or not. It was definitely distinctive branding for the time. So 
So, yes, I'm being a little extra careful putting the pepperoni on here instead of just throwing it on because we don't want to have a bite without pepperoni. Whoops. And I'll eat that later. No. And I bought some pizza mozzarella. I always have a hard time with these. So pull off that. So. Do, do, do. Putting on the cheese. So the, the pizza making started during the, the first wave because everything was closed and we wanted pizza and so I was like, well, I'll just make it. And I cannot tell you <laughs> how many pizzas I have made thus far, but it's been a lot. So, all right. So now I just have to wait for the oven to come up to temperature, and we'll put, which is 375. And we'll put this in for 15 minutes. Oh, that could not have been timed better. So we'll put it in the oven and we'll be back to show you the final product. Okay, 15 minutes is up. Let's see what it looks like. Woo, glasses are steamed up. And there we go. Looks like pizza. Pizza time. I'm so excited. And I'm having, this is not tea. <laughs> um, it's clearly Canadian and it's the M Mountain Blackberry. It's one of my favorite. I really love this, but it's so full of sugar and I never used to taste that when I was a kid. I always just thought it was just like flavored water, but it's a nice treat and that's what's happening right now. So I'm gonna watch some what are we watching? I have no idea. What do you want to watch? I don't know. Maybe something Christmassy since it's well, Christmas Eve. Clearly. Yes. Merry Christmas Eve! <laughs> don't break things. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve! We are going to open day 24 of the Friends Advent. This is the one with the lobster on it. Nice. Which, if you live around here, is something a lot of people do on Christmas Eve. You gotta um, feed a lobster. Yeah, that is true. I don't like it, so I don't, but. I'm allergic. And there's that. Okay, what do I get here? Friends holiday quotes. Nice. Ugly naked guy is decorating his tree. Oh my God, you should see the size of his Christmas balls. <laughs> That was Phoebe. That's awful. Yeah. Um, dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Oh, the rest of them weren't that great. <laughs> like, I don't even know who half these characters are. That's okay. Oh, no, wait. It's the font they're using. And I'm also not supposed to be using these glasses for reading up close. Oh. <laughs> anyway, friends, Christmas and Hanukkah quotes. Very nice. Holiday quotes. That's yes. nice. So it is. Yeah. Yeah. You can even use those little ornaments. Ornament. Stop fighting, please. Santa won't come. <laughs> That's the kittens. <laughs> well, thank you very much for sharing your friend's advent calendar with us. Well, thank you for gifting me the friend's advent calendar. You're very welcome. All right, you want to get a cup of tea? Can I have hot chocolate instead? Of course. Then yes. All right. I would like that. You would like a cup of tea in the form of a hot chocolate. Gotcha. No. A cup of tea with marshmallows. 
<laughs> there is that. No, don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> All right. All right. I am so excited to add a few more things to the wonderful giveaway box. It is jam packed, but I think we can get a few more things in here. So let's see what we had for suggestions. Um, Bradley asked to have included a tea with chocolate in it that I actually like, because if you've been around, you know that I'm not usually a huge fan of chocolate in my teas. However, this is a sample going into the box of my favorite chocolate tea. And I actually went and wrote a review on the necessities page for this. And I'm, you know, <laughs> I think that says so much. This is cherry cordial and it reminded me so much of my dad. My dad passed away and cherry chocolates was his favorite. This tastes just like it. Lindsay at The Necessities is just like a brilliant mastermind of making exactly what the name is. Like whatever that is, that's what you're getting. Like it's incredible how good she is. She's a one woman business and small business. She does it all herself, hand blends everything. If you're not already following Lindsay, go check her out on her Instagram. She is a delight. She looks like a mermaid in real life. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she creates unique, fun dessert teas. And she's definitely your girl for that. All right, so like I said, I can't give you the whole bag, but a sample is in here for you and I'll make sure that's labeled as well. All right, so we got that down. Bradley, I hope that, uh, I hope that helps. <laughs> Jeannie suggested my favorite matcha. Lavender honey matcha is my favorite flavor. Um, I would usually use like two scoops of this with one scoop of like a real matcha, like Grand Cru or like a ceremonial. I wouldn't probably waste a ceremonial matcha with making this, but like into an iced latte, that's how I like it. But this here is one of the packets. This is full, it hasn't been opened. Um, so yes, so that's a great sample for that. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Jerry suggested some of the matcha chocolates that I had received in the David's Tea Advent. And here we go. One of them is going in. And you might be like, Jan, I thought that you ate them. I did. I ended up with two Advents. Somebody had also suggested that we put in our favorite local treat. And I'm so sorry, I can't remember who suggested that. That's so horrible of me. I'm very, very sorry, but I hope that if you do win it, that you love these. This is Laurel Caramels and they're sea salt. They're like, <laughs> they are so good. <laughs> And they are local to Nova Scotia. It's, um, yeah, they're just amazing. I love them. So those go in there. The final thing that I want to put in is a matcha that, you know, is not my favorite, not as horrible as what I thought, but might be yours. And that is bubblegum matcha. So that will go in there as well. We'll figure out how to get that closed. <laughs> And then January 10th, we'll be drawing for this. Ooh. But I have one more thing. We're gonna, we're gonna do another draw on January 10th. So we also have the David's Tea thing going on and that's separate. But I wanted to do something a little bit smaller from the main giveaway. So this will be an assortment of different, you know, smaller samples and stuff, whereas the big box kind of has like full packages and stuff. Okay, so this here smaller prize pack 
anyone who comments on Vlogmas 24, this video is eligible to win. And the way that you win is the person who has the most comments to their comment. So the most responses. So if you really want to see somebody win, you know, you go and chat with them and, or maybe if you love their comment so much, reply to them and whoever gets the most will win. And if there's a tie, we'll just do a random draw between the ties. So let's see what's going into, I have to still find a box, but the matcha honey this is an unopened one i opened mine like i said this is the second one that's going to go into a box uh an assortment of the little puers is going in some harney and sons tea sores some camellia sinesis one of the ele elevations that i received in my advent I love sharing with you guys. One of my chais that I received. Um, some samples from David's Tea. Um, Silk Dragon Jasmine, Buddha's Blend, The Buzz, Forever Nuts. So those come with uh, orders. Then we have two of the... Ooh, Two of the matcha chocolates going in. We have a sample pack from The Necessities. It's Grandma's Apple Strudel. So good. Kusmi's uh, Green Jasmine. Maple Matcha. Peach Matcha and salted caramel matcha. And I'm I'm sure I'll probably put an extra thing or two in there. <laughs> so I'll leave all the information as well in the description down below. If you're confused, just let me know. I'll help you. <laughs> Basically just be kind to other people and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we go. All right. <laughs> Right. 24. Yeah, it's, yep. it's, yeah, it's been a lot. So if you're wondering, like, we both have the shirt. We both have the shirt. <laughs> and Jeanette will never let me wear it if she's wearing it. Nope. But who bought the shirt first? You did. Ah. <laughs> yeah. She had one flannel shirt and that is it. And I have a veritable rainbow of rainbow shirts. Or no, a <laughs> rainbow of flannel, flannel shirts. shirts. I am yeah. so tired. Yeah, it's been a long day. So I would like to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to go to bed early because Santa's coming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. I am drinking. What am I drinking? You made this for Christmas me. Tea yeah. from today. It was like. Uh, had some orange and spices. Yeah. I think with the black tea. It's very good. It's very strong, but it's good. It's very nice. The tin is incredible. Like that tin is just amazing. So, mm. yeah. I was having hot chocolate, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for Vlogmas and yeah, I'm just incredibly grateful for all the support and the kindness. And I know that there was some craziness at times, but <laughs> <laughs> some not so festive yeah, moments. <laughs> exactly. But you know, Vlogmas 24, we did it. Yep. <laughs> we did so much fun so yes all right yeah tomorrow's the big day yeah it is santa claus chocolate cherries chocolate cherries and eggnog turkey yeah coffee cake i am drinking coffee cake tomorrow okay all right <laughs> yeah. all this tea from the advance and i haven't even made it through like it's yeah kelly from 
uh, Instagram, she had, I think, more advanced than I had. Really? And she drank every single one every day. That's but a she's a professional tea drinker. Like, that's her job, so. <laughs> Do you remember when you drank all the tea out of all of your teacups? <laughs> yes. I remember. That was, yeah. I remember very well. That was a very unfortunate um, event after the video stopped. <laughs> yeah, I had to come home. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't. Pro, pro tip. Yeah. It was like 36 cups of tea. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't ever do that. That was so awful. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, gracious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. one cup of that. Yeah. No more tonight. A cup at a time. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. So. All right. Well, I have comments to catch up on. I'm excited to chat with all of you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys down in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye.